Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. You can see the Avatar project time kicking down. Just want to show that to you. It is only four more days left. First of all, my name is Icon, and this is going to be our second um, episode in the second um, season of Saving Your Disastrous Campaigns. This uh, time the campaign name is uh, The Royal Disaster and we started out by defending and retaliation mission to just even get to this black side here. Now we need to win the black side actually in order to uh, make sure that the doom timer uh, stops. The difficulty is difficult uh, which is probably not an understatement and I prepared the mission by actually building the first medikit whatever the guy who is playing this um, safe game is doing he certainly doesn't like medikits and he also doesn't like specialists i don't know what's wrong with you guys and the specialists but let me tell you they are actually a pretty decent class now um, looking at our loadout we took um, one of each uh, to have a wonderfully mixed up team we do have our only mimic beacon in the hands of a templar who, by the way, is still a squaddy, which very much sucks. And we have a somewhat damaged uh, mech uh, spark unit. I mentioned maybe beforehand that I'm not the biggest fan of spark units, but since I figured since that guy was playing with them and since I installed the mod um, and bought it just for the purpose of, um, of actually doing uh, this series, I might as well use the sparks. So the biggest problem with uh, the black side facility is they changed the black side facility in War of the Chosen to have only one exit. Earlier in the vanilla versions, you could uh, you could just call down the Sky Ranger for evacuation. Then people started to farm this here for experience, basically putting the team in, um, starting the mission, killing a couple of enemies, evacuating, rinse and repeat, um, just to get the extra experience. As a result of it, uh, nowadays you cannot just launch the mission and evacuate, you actually have to play through it. And that will be difficult. If we're looking at a difficult difficulty, we're probably looking at 12-ish enemies, 12 to 15, which for a team of newbies here um, is not necessarily easy to defeat. Good, let's go. Bradford expects heavy resistance, and heavy resistance it's going to be. Got our spark unit. An excellent scout. Not necessarily an excellent um, unit to position at the very edge here, because you often end up with um, requiring to stay in stealths here at the edge. Got it covered. Putting our sniper and a couple of the other guys into position. Affirmative. I comply. Move, move, move. All right, so we're moving up. I will send any disturbance. So far we haven't seen um, a single bit of contact. The problem with this mission also is going to be look at the amount of health that everyone is having. Due to non-upgraded armor, we're like sitting ducks here. And that's it's not going to be fun. Like the level of squishiness that we're having is pretty, pretty high. Our most sturdy soldier, Predator, has seven hit points, and I wouldn't necessarily say that seven hit points is something to write home about. Not four months down in the campaign, so that's going to be difficult, guys. We might lose a couple of soldiers on this mission. 
Overwatch. We do have time, so I want to really make sure that we're catching only one patrol at a time and starting to do it with high ground. Maybe we're just even really moving over here. There's more high ground. I was just considering this here also might be a nice spot because we do have a lot of open field here. Um, let's start way. moving in just a little bit. I see the path. Yeah, there is a bit of cover missing here, to be honest. But it is what it is. So I wouldn't mind if uh, the mech is actually being spotted out. So we're putting it into an overwatching position. Haven't even heard a patrol so far. We don't have a time limit. That's why I'm really taking it nice and slow. We're going to turtle our way through this. Um, it would be ludicrous to just go ham on this mission. Yeah, since they don't know that we're here, we might as well position ourselves behind dest uh, destructible cover. Still nothing. I'm starting to get a bit concerned because by now, just so out of decided. pure statistics, we should have, uh, of statistical probability, we should have uh, been running into a, a pack of enemies. Anyways, continuing to Overwatch, there is no patrol whatsoever. Oh, there we go, first patrol. There's an advent captain nearby. We should attempt to disable it with the Skulljack. All right, got you, got you. I would say solid starting point. I mean, affirmative, moving out. Guide my hand. I'll keep a watchful eye. Let them walk a little bit more into the open, and then we can engage onto them. Come on, Overwatch, thank you. All right, no one's here so far. God damn it. Eventually they must come around this corner, so it's very unlikely. Oh, there we go. I was about to say, it's very unlikely that we're not going to, uh, to find enemies. That's a 84% uh, uh, chance to almost one-shot this guy, and I'll take the opportunity to, to just pull him. There we go. Nice little dead eye kill. The reason why I chose to kill uh, the, um, the shield bearer. Wait a second. That's beautiful. So, hold on. We're going to tuck in Predator with an aid protocol. He might need it, because Predator is going to hopefully charge in. Oh no, we can't reach him. Ah, that's so sad, because I really, really wanted the Skulljack kill. Okay, definitely not expecting to remove all of the cover. That was a bit of a bummer. Enemy eliminated. 
Well, maybe we will get another chance for a captain kill. It really it's a bummer. I wanted to uh, school jack him so bad. Oh gosh, look who's there. Oh shit, that is going to hurt. So, her weaknesses be wild ring attacks, which means if we hit her multiple times, we uh, can actually get take her down. Um, she's uh, very, uh, very much affected by reapers. It takes increased damage from them. Good to know. Um, unfortunately, she can summon mechanical units, and every shot that's missed against her will generate kinetic plating. And as always, she's immune against overwatch shots. The problem with her in the, in these circumstances, I was I was um, very cognizant of the fact that she could turn up here, but we did not have any scanning protocol, nor did this uh, playthrough have. Um, um, a battle a battlefield scanner so i'm left with that unsatisfying situation where i really have a very very limited amount of counterplay against her okay we do have this ranger and she's probably the only thing that we have as a as a real defense against the chosen The Chosen deals a lot of damage if she hits, so this we're going to put the mech in front to be potentially the first target that she could attack. It's not the a perfect strategy, but everyone else would be a one-shot, so might as well try our best. I don't want... I really don't want to... Uh, trigger any other pack so for the time being the overwatch just uh, just is meant um, as a defense if another pack walks into us so she, she spawned really behind uh, behind that uh, massive building let's see I would say her first move takes her up to here she's probably taking the high ground because um, that's the sh fastest way second move might bring her up to here her third move somewhere in this area, and then her fourth move will be uh, next to us. That would be me just judging by the amount of movement that I think she has. Again, uh, it's definitely not um, an accurate science. It's just me and my game experience um, judging how far she could get there. So this turn will be okay-ish. Might as well take this extra shot against the heavy tower. Missed, unfortunately. We're still scouting. That's fine. It's the second round. She should now traverse up to in front of uh, in front of the um, in front of the building, and she actually got spotted out. Her movement is further than I would have thought. I I gave her up to here, but she has now been spotted out, which is lucky for us because we can engage on her. Oh yeah, we got our shot at the Chosen, and boy oh boy, this is going to be fun. Immediately activating Overdrive, because this is definitely a round that, that counts a lot for us. Not sure if we can reach her with everything, but we damn sure could try. Rocket Launcher. Nice. Got her shredded. Well, we could strike her, but given that she has bewildering uh, strikes, she actually takes more damage once she has three attacks going into her. 
which is right about now. So look at that. There we go. Even non-crit is uh, now 7 points of damage. Good. She's down to 19. Pretty solid, I might say. Um, I would want to go with a 100% shot, just to make sure we deal as much damage as possible. Oh my gosh, 13 and poison. Beautiful. I mean, we can't reach her with our melee attack. That's fine. There is a 50-50 chance. Nope. Didn't work out. Shit. Uh, we should have thought about kinetic plating. That was three extra hit points for her. Moving into the open. Uh, cover doesn't have any effect on her. She's... As soon as she's hitting, um, uh, or as soon as uh, she, it, it would be her turn, she would be hitting anyways. But that's great. Um, worked like a charm. We spotted her out. Immediately got a promotion onto our squaddy to Corporal. That's great. Excellent work, Commander. We may not have put them down for good, but at the very least we've held on. And I think it's a good moment day. in time to move to the next house and just slowly but surely take on uh, the central courtyard here. So, big, big plus to get the uh, Chosen out of the way. Huge. There we go. Okay, we know that there is a Spectre up here. That's good to know. Taking the high ground also with the mech. Mainly trying to position everyone onto the second level. Reloading. Nothing spectacular. It's, it's really just overwatching. I think there is probably at least one more patrol coming in. I just want to make sure that we have the tower out of the way uh, when the patrol hits. Plus, we might want to move away from the parts of the building that are actually burning. Ready to go. Another shot. The tower has a lot of armor. It hit the plate. But we almost got it down. Okay, so moving into this position here. Perfect. If you position your guys in high cover, make sure that they are far enough away from one another so that they are not subject okay. to grenades, at least not all too much. Second floor here would be even a bit more optimal than the top level because we would have full cover and high ground at the same time, which is okay for now. Um, it is. It's fine. So still trying to get the tower out of the way. There we go. Tower is down. Need to reload once more, but elsewise we're fine. Just moving over here to make sure we're really spread out. Got it covered. 
We're going to continue scouting in a second. I'd like to get the sniper over here as well. And I really like the fire to stop, to be honest. So up here, uh, yeah, if the fire ever stops, up here would be a lovely position for a sniper. Like right here. Good to go. And from next turn onwards, we can continue moving. Because now everyone's in position. We can hear that more enemies seem to be inside of the building. That's not surprising, to be honest. So let's carefully move into that direction. No problem, boss. Well, so much for our scout. Gotta give him props. Um, I'll give you, gotta give her props. She tried her best to stay under the radar. Got caught out eventually. Really, not that much I could do here, to be to be brutally uh, honest. I really wasn't expecting a viper behind that cover. So we're overdriving again. A cooldown that could be frequently used if you are having a non-timed mission. It really isn't that bad. We can move up to here and still have an action left over. I moved here because I knew that wasn't going to trigger another pack. Are you shitting me? I was I was looking at that field and oh wow. Worst move ever. I was just about to brag like you we're going here because I know there's no one triggered here, blah 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 blah. The matter of the fact is that was not good. Wow. Wow. Okay. Well, let's try that again. The Viper needs to die first. Unfortunately it dodges and unfortunately it is immune against poison attacks. We do have a stock I think. No, it's a repeater. That's a very low chance, but I'm still giving it a try. I was hoping to maybe remove cover. Don't want to use the frag grenades. But I think I, I'll have to. Which is a bummer because I wanted to use them for the later packs. So, the way that I intend on dealing with the sector is actually via melee combat and putting ourselves into full cover. The snake here. I mean, we do have a certain chance to actually um, to actually crit it and kill it, but that's unfortunately not high enough. So, most likely, we're doing what I did not want to do. Well, wait a second. We do have an advanced stock, right? Yep, that's two damage. Okay, the Viper is dead. Should have thought about that earlier. So even if we miss, Viper is now down to four hit points, which means we can move in and kill the Viper. Getting our sweet, sweet um, focus.
and moving into full cover afterwards. Last but not least, let's move into full cover and hit that sector. Sector will move back and will try to mind control us. Fortunately, we haven't skilled uh, the uh, the blade storm onto the hunter, or in that regard, any melee attacks. Well, we certainly could try to kill him and move out. Question is, would that trigger another pack? If it would, it wouldn't be a problem, so might as well try that. It'll give us our second focus. Sectors is, of course, moving towards another pack. But I'm okay with pulling another one, which hadn't happened, so might as well put ourselves into full cover. There we go. Moving into full cover. So we know there's another tower here. So far, that hadn't been a problem. Let's just overwatch for now. I like the fact that nothing happened. The tower is not a threat unless we would cross its line of sight. Since we're currently not doing that, might as well continue to ignore it. I guess we can all agree that that's a proper entrance for us. I comply. Let's make sure we're triggering nothing. It is there now. Already there. Moving into full cover with everyone. Of course, ex with the exception of the, uh, our spark unit, who can now see the tower. But I think we don't want to act upon it, unless we take a 75% shot, which I think is a good idea. Nope, didn't work out. That's fine. Could have been an extra kill. We're just moving out of line of sight. Let's kill this tower next. Ah, the open spaces, the fresh air. <sighs> oh yeah. Affirmative. Covering now. Moving we'll back into cover. Okay, gotta reload. I know it's not the most sexy uh, option to to kill a tower versus uh, squad side uh, squad side line of sight abuse, but you gotta do what you gotta do in order to get it done. Like I said, we don't have a time limit. I just want to make sure that we're actually saving the campaign. And I think the gentleman that has played this campaign Stop. will thank me Stop. afterwards. Stop. There we go. Nice and hit. But it's still pretty healthy. Need another one. No one will 
slip past. Come get some. So let's move our soldiers first and foremost and make sure that we have the scenery covered a little bit better. Yes, Commander. We know what's happening here, Eigen. Thank you for letting us know. Guys, come on. We know what's happening here. We've been around the block. This is not our first rodeo. AKA been there, done that. I bought the t-shirt. So, here we go. Yet another try to kill this tower. Beautiful. Beautiful. Overwatch. Overwatch, 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 and you guessed it, Overwatch. Turtling tactics at their finest. I think the next strategy will be to completely Overwatch trap these guys. I was about to say to take the sniper and move him into that direction, but boy oh boy was I wrong. Well, hello there. there is weak as goes Look at that. We just we just had a transparent uh, wall. There is an enemy here, and we know that there is yet another shadow up there. Okay, since we know that there is a shadow up there, um, it has quickly. limited reach. Might as well use that to our advantage. All right, everyone moved. No panic. It's just a shadow, right? It'll be immune against one... One attack. And that's pretty much it. Well, it missed its shots. Okay. Fair enough. Time for an effing overdrive. Sup, 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 and jump. There we go. Well, guess who just found you, buddy? Of course, that's exactly the round where our sniper needs to reload. Very unfortunate. Moving over here, we can still hit this guy. Oh, beautiful hit, beautiful hit. So we're looking at what? Three hit points left, okay, good. That's two hit points, at least, from our uh, Grenadier. There we go, good, good, good. Down to one. Yeah, and fuck it, we're vaulting him to death. Overwatch. And move back, plus Overwatch. There we go. So far we have only taken one shot. And that was the one from the Spectre. So I think we might want to slowly but surely get a bit closer to the entrance. Moving out. This unit is now reloading. The power 
power guides me. Closing on target position now. All right. Overwatch. Moving to Overwatch. I'm on it. Once everyone is at the entrance, we can move our sniper. Until then, I like the position of our sniper. Very solid. So, I mean, we can safely say everyone's at about at the entrance now. So, I'm let's ready. take the sniper next. Time to a proper, for a proper reload. Okay, so I would take a wild guess and say that the next group is inside the building. You know what? The store here is still closed and I think that's actually an advantage because we can get into position even further. Yeah, so we're moving over here. Their armor isn't bad either. I know Advent when I see them. Is that a pack of three? Yeah. It seems to be a pack of three. Well, Look at you, buddy. <laughs> at least a couple of our guys can take overwatch shots now. All right. Beautiful. Beautiful. I think now is the absolute right and proper moment for a good old grenade to deal with both of uh, these threats here. I fear, however, that we're looking at at least some indestructible cover. Probably almost all of it. It's interesting that this massive wall gave away. I wasn't sure about the wall. I was pretty sure about that cover here. But it's interesting that the wall has given away but the rest didn't. We have a Mimic Beacon if necessary. Absolutely. Moving into full cover. And let's try to kill the Spectre first. Then the next, uh, the next one would be the stun lancer. So this here is only half cover, but it is such a good. Uh, spot that I think we're going to do it. Okay, we can kill this guy. Now it's time for the stun lance, huh? Yeah, we could we could move down here. Or alternatively well Hmm. Hmm. Let's try to take a shot at the Sun Lancer. Huh? 
a protocoling ourselves just to reduce him as a potential target so the Sun Lancer would probably jump over here and uh, try to, uh, to Sun Lance uh, the Assault. I'm pretty sure we're not triggering another pack. That's why I went in. Very unlikely that we would have. We can move away with momentum. And this here should take care of the Spectre. Still leaves us uh, with the shield bearer, but the shield bearer will use its shield ability, so we should be fine. Told ya, that was predictable. Moving into direction and starting to shred him. Plus, killing him ultimately. Good. Well, there is still a pack of two Vipers that we've seen at the very beginning. So I'm cognizant that that's alive. Moving a lot into cover without uh, triggering other packs. I knew that all of these spaces wouldn't have line of sight to anything that we haven't had revealed. Positioning is super important in this game to make sure that you're not being, uh, that you're not discovering another pack just inci uh, incidentally. Good copy, moving on target. To victory. Reloaded. Like Alright, so we have time to reload, everyone, everybody has their cooldowns again, so I guess perfect moment in time to start opening the door. Oh, it's Mac versus Mac, the fight of brothers. Moving in, into full cover, shredding and getting rid of at least some of the cover, I think that's the best um, play we could do. Seven to nine. Let's make sure we're hitting it. Overdriving. Here we go. sure the mech kind of uh, qualified as the MVP in this encounter. We march towards enlightenment. Confirmed. Moving to Overwatch. Got it covered. My senses are keen. The reason why I'm already shooting with it is these two guys here already have their promotion, so it's fine. Um, tried to get uh, Quill on the sniper, didn't work out. And yeah, the mech 
actually does its, does its job pretty well, so there is no denying it. I always said they are strong in the early game, so it's it's their time to shine right now. Okay, so that's a more serious pack. As in, I should have saved the grenade, because we're now getting our asses handed uh, to us by these guys. Same points of damage, okay, that's a start. That's something. We are immune against poison, so might as well position ourselves here. The Vipers should be the first target. Unfortunately, we don't have holo target. Let's see. Yeah, only two points of damage. Very, very unfortunate. Um, but we do have a Mimic Beacon that could still save the day, and I think we're going to use it this turn. Pretty sure this is the last pack, by the way. Missed a couple of key shots here, to be honest. Mac moves in. Hits the Viper really well. He can now kill it. There you go. That's one down at least. The reason why I'm going in so reckless is I know that we still have uh, the Mimic Beacon. Which is, by the way, the only reason why I'm going in that reckless. Elsewise, I would have thought about using probably a flashbang and just fighting it out. Well, that had been a huge mistake. The Viper left its cover. Taking the 100% shot, because Vipers can't dodge 100% shots. Beautiful crit. Beautiful, beautiful. Softening the target up a bit. Moving closer. I got nothing. That's affirmative. Again, continuing to soften it up. Right next to it, to finish it, and there we go. Yet? Time to you secure the loot. Ooh, wow, that's good. Repeater is nice. PCS speed is nice. PCS focus is yeah okay, and we got a data pet. That was a very 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 good loot. Four pieces of loot. Super solid. Locked and loaded. Heading out. On my way. This unit is 
so we we're moving into a solid position again. Onward. Moving on target location. Not it covered. Scanning. Pretty sure we have almost no opposition left. Yeah, there is no alien movement, which means we are all alone here. Good, so moving Will do. with everyone except the assault. Copy that. You say. The assault is soon going Ready to take um, the vial. And we need to get out of here then afterwards. Okay. So there's the landing spot. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Up here will be a great, great spot to watch the reinforcements piling in. Okay, and we're almost there. No problem, boss. Moving to Overwatch. Will do. Roll it out. Reload. Reload. Everyone's reloaded. Good. Now, time to pick up the vial and get the hell out of here. Where do you want it? I've got friends. Guessing that's not water in there. Shen, any readings? No signs of radioactivity. No significant energy signatures of any kind. Whatever it is, it's safe to handle. We've confirmed acquisition of the sample. Move to rendezvous. <laughs> Excuse me. So, we got the black side vial. Very good. Agreed. Let's move into the center. No one gets by me. The ones. Yeah, well, we're taking the high ground bonus. I actually like it. Overwatch, Overwatch, reload Overwatch, and surprise, surprise, Overwatch. Moving out. Let's see what the re uh, reinforcements are going to look like. Oh gosh. There is a purifier. That's bad news. I hope they don't kill it right away. Because elsewise, standing in the middle of them with a purifier isn't the best idea. Alright. The purifier survived. Only with four hit points, but it survived nonetheless. No, no, oh, I should have over. I should have used overdrive. Oh, that was a stupid idea. That ended the turn. Ah, I thought I'd take a shot and then overdrive. Anyways. Expect. 
That's one more guy down. And another one. Double movement. I think there will be a second um, set of reinforcements coming in. Yeah, there is the second set. Alien reinforcements inbound. Back in on Overwatch. Good to go. I like the idea of uh, cleaning up the second set. A more difficult task available. I can handle that. It'll give us some extra XP. And quite frankly, we should be able to almost kill them right away. May oh, maybe there could be an Advent Officer who actually survives the Onslaught, whom we can uh, school check. Well, the, uh, the problem is the Advent Officer will move first and will most likely die. But that would have been an option for us to further reduce the, the, uh, the uh, timer. Too bad that I'm now thinking about it. Yeah, they kind of gunned him down. Pretty much. So the Sun Lancer is effectively dead, being poisoned and all. Yeah, we could have done better. The use the school check on an admin officer uh, could have worked. Unfortunately, we didn't. Ah, that's a bummer. And there won't be a third pack of reinforcements. There are always only two. Yeah, even if you flawless the mission, there is still room for improvement. Unlike the rest of you, this unit doesn't get winded. So, let's get the sniper out of here as well. a successful mission we stop the uh, the doom clock and that'll give us some time to assess the situation where we stand mission accomplished commander we just hit advent where it hurts this was a place no living human being was ever intended to see plus i think we got a couple of promotions which is actually quite good because i can Insert a bit of my um, own my only uh, my own style into this campaign. I will definitely not skill the um, uh, the specialist, for instance, as a combat specialist. This guy here needs some healing. That's for sure. Cool, a couple of promotions. Number one, we got Stormwalker here. This time, not with um, uh, with Blade Storm. You can't uh, you can't always have a Blade Storm Ranger, uh, Blade Storm Templar, but with the nice uh, reflectability and with Amplify plus Quick Draw, which Quick Draw isn't too bad on them. He could use his quick draw and then afterwards go into melee, so it increases his damage potential and his action economy. 
and Amplify isn't bad either. So you can already see I'm sinking in a couple of points into this unit because I think that the Templar will help this guy to actually uh, survive his runs a bit better. We're going for Shredder, although I'm also tempted for Blast Padding, of course. And boy oh boy, we're definitely going for Medical Protocol. So, not bad at all. We have the Black Side Vial and a couple of nice toys. Plus, no one got wounded. So, I think we got a good team at our hand. And we reduced the Avatar progress by 2. Plus, we got 120 supplies. So, let's look into our engineering department. This guy definitely has a money problem. You can see I could have bought battle scanners. He, we can even buy a second Mimic Beacon, which is great. Um, but there are also a couple of weapon upgrades that he really hasn't taken. Not even the one for for his mechs, which I think is foolish. The most foolish one, though, is the squad side, uh, uh, the Predator armor, because he even has researched them. But, I mean, he's lacking the alien alloys. We could probably buy that, given that he has enough intel. He's lacking the trooper corpses, which is, like I said, in my perspective, something that's inexcusable. Not having trooper corpses means that you haven't planned. Now, that's really, really bad. Uh, and 300 supplies, yeah, well, I mean, this here needs to happen soon. So, in the in the absence of having the trooper corpses, how many trooper corpses do we have? What it was like in the old days. Always on edge, ready for a fight on a moment's notice. Certainly keeps you on your toes. Advent trooper oh, corpse eight. So we're missing four. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Yeah, we're missing four trooper corps, so that's bad. Um, I was just thinking, what's the best way to play it? I would guess we could go for a weapon upgrade. The Templar upgrade isn't bad either. Since we've invested so many points in the Templar, might as well upgrade him. Specifically is melee attack. That makes a big difference. Yeah, we could do the Templar and the weapon. Both actually, we just need some more supplies. So we're a couple of supplies short. Uh, let's go with the Templar first and we'll take the 110 supplies is what we would need. slow the aliens progress yeah we need to be very careful what we're doing now just let's make sure that we're doing the right things we need the next um, reduction the next reduction of um, of the avatar uh, avatar project right away um, So selling a couple of sectoid corpses means we can't do mine shields, but I think that's the least of our problems at the moment. Stun lancer corpses really aren't needed. I want to keep the advent uh, data pads. Can sell two uh, two of the Ber berserk corpses. Mm. We actually need the viper corpses. Yeah, well. No, we're not selling the faceless corpses. They are very valuable. Stun Lancer corpses. So we're at 60. That's enough. Just about enough to upgrade the weapon. Um, so... We're now upgrading the Helix Cannon. 
which means that the mech is even stronger. It hits harder. But we still need to find upgrades for our... Um, oh, there we go. Uh, there we go. He even had... He even had his monthly upgrade, uh, his monthly drops here. Should have probably seen that beforehand. Anyways, we haven't done a mistake. Selling that stuff wasn't really a bad idea either. So, um, he was making contact down here to get to this facility. That's only five days. Uh, we might want to finish this first before actually getting um, getting the supplies because the supplies alone will not help us. This here, however, this here, however, will give us an, an out um, to further reduce the avatar pro, uh, pro, uh, project when we need it. Boy, he's continuing to build rangers. Like what the actual f? Yeah, we don't have any rookies to train. Just look at the armory and here's again another free tip. If you have an uneven roster, that means you're doing something incredibly wrong. Four grenadiers, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rangers, a shit ton of sharpshooters and only a handful of specialists. So I can already see that there was not another uh, a need for another ranger. But so be it. And the final march for those humans, deceived by... We have a positive confirmation on an emergency... Well, there is an ambush. I, I don't even know like what he has uh, sent on to this mission. So that's going to be the next surprise. Let's give it. A, let's try our best to uh, to do the mission and see what kind of reward uh, he was aiming to get out of it. I'm going to see you in the next mission. If you like uh, what you've seen so far here on Save My Campaign, and you, if you enjoy like the super clutch uh, game um, uh, saving, then leave a comment down below and maybe consider giving it a like. Thank you, and see you in the next mission. Bye bye.